people are behind bars after an armed robbery. Four of them are teenagers. Now, this is video that shows the crime happening in the middle of the day. NBC4's Alex Rozier has the video and joins us with more on what happened. Alex. Yeah, it all happened in the middle of the day in the middle of the road here on Wilshire Boulevard in Beverly. I know we don't have just 205 likes. You got to be kidding me, man. 205 likes, that's it? After like fucking three hours of fucking... After three hours, we got 205 likes, man. I don't believe that, man. That's almost, like literally, that's literally impossible. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, How many in the chat? Yo. Yo. That's um, in the chat, um, like 300. But we've had 1,600 people come through. So 1,600 different people, because, you know, people come and go and whatnot. We had 1,600 people come through, and we got 200 likes. There's currently 300 people in the chat, 315 currently. And Come on, y'all. Get it up to 300 at least. Five likes. That shit is crazy, man. That shit is bananas, man. Um, I want y'all to just look at likes on other videos. When y'all see other people's videos, just look at the likes, how many likes they got. I just want y'all to check that. Start, start noticing that, man. And then see how it be over here, man. The shit is crazy, dog. Beverly Hills police said the armed robbers got away with an expensive watch, but minutes later, officers got it back when they made several arrests. Oh! Video shared on Instagram shows an armed robbery on Wilshire Boulevard in Beverly Hills. You can see one person grab a man's Rolex while it appears... That's a white dude, man. Look at this white dude getting robbed and shit. You can see one person... White dude just getting robbed, man. By a bunch of black dudes in public, man, and getting robbed and shit, man. Look at that white dude, man. Getting robbed, man, by a bunch of white dudes, my black dudes, man. In broad daylight. And he done ran out of his shoe. Broad daylight. I mean, Beverly he's lucky Hill. he's alive. Could have been he's worse. Very lucky. Very lucky he's alive. And if they had killed him and all gotten life sentences, nothing would have been lost on that side. It wouldn't have been like, oh, well, at least they got life sentences. Yo, and these dudes get life sentences, ain't nothing lost. They're replaced the next second. It's a, yo, we print these type of dudes in black community, man. They'll be replaced within seconds person grab a man's rolex while it appears another man pointed a gun at the owner of the watch i just can't believe it minutes later beverly hills pd said they arrested four teenagers and a 23 year old following a brief pursuit that ended in hollywood but stealing is wrong deep sate owns bombay palace the robbery happened out uh, sir that's not stealing man stealing is when you go in a fucking um 7-eleven and shit and you fill your fucking big gulp up and you drink it and then you fill it up again. And then you go pay for it. That's stealing. This is fucking armed robbery. Inside his restaurant, he said he's owned the restaurant for 40 years, but he thinks criminals have become emboldened because laws are too lenient. It does not surprise me at all. This has become the new normal. And it's a pity that uh, this beautiful, great state of California, especially Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, has been ruined, and it's and the politicians seem to be thinking it's a new normal. Cross the street, we own the other business, which is the politicians that you're going to vote for in the next election. Like this guy don't understand. Like he thinks that he can vote for them again, and this shit going to change. You're going to vote for those same people. What are you talking about, dude? seem to be thinking it's a new normal cross the street we own the other business which is a member we've made it into a membership only because we don't want people regular people to come in as we had a huge robbery last year he said he recently witnessed a theft on rodeo drive fedex guys bringing the packages out and a few guys come in and just take the packages away in front of 
everybody around three o'clock in the afternoon. As for the armed robbery on Wilshire last Thursday, Beverly Hills PD said they made a quick arrest after a city employee witnessed the crime and alerted police. And thankfully, this man now has his watch back after a scary afternoon in Beverly Hills. And as we bring you back out live here on Wilshire Boulevard again, police arrested five people, four of them between the ages of 16 and 18 years old. The fifth is 23, all of them facing charges ranging from assault with a firearm to robbery. Reporting live in Beverly Hill. Man, every story. Two convenience store clerks were murdered late last week, and police say one man is responsible for both of those. Police have their suspect. He's in the Dallas County Jail. Fox 4 Sean Rabb is at the jail this evening with the story. Sean. And Steve, police in Dallas and Mesquite say 21-year-old Devontae Mathis is responsible for both of those clerks' killings. He is Devontae. <laughs> Shocking, right? Christ, man. And, and this is supposed to just be normal. This is just normal that all these, all of this shit is being done by. It's just, it's it's, it's a non, is what? Like black black people literally can collectively look at the rest of the country like what? <laughs> yeah, right. This was seen. Not right. only can they, they do. <laughs> what you do that white man? This, this dude that killed two gas station clerks, man. Like, and it's not like he's not a serial killer. It's not like he just went out. Like he literally just killed them. Like probably trying to rob them is in custody here in the county jail. A murder robbery at this Dallas Fox gas station convenience store about 12.35 a.m. June 22nd took the life of 32-year-old Gopi Krishna Dasari, reportedly a husband and father. Reports say he'd been in this country only eight months from India. Early Jesus Christ, eight months. Yeah, welcome to America. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I wonder if, like, these but folks are going to figure it out at some point. Like, maybe we should just not move to this country. We'll, 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 we'll deal with it in India. We'll, you know, we'll grind it out here. Here's the thing, though. They, that, that, um, stores and gas stations, that's a niche that needs to be filled. Like, black people can't do, black can't run a gas station. A black person can't run a gas station, man. Where have you seen it? Now, how, how old are you, um, um, new guy? This new guy, right? Oh, 25. Yeah, yeah. You're 25. Wow. Correct. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Um, yeah, damn. Hey, I ain't even say young. You yeah, a baby. Yeah, you young. God damn. Yeah, I was going to ask you. Yeah, you. you. But, well, anyway, I ask you anyway. Do you, have, do you Have you ever seen a black person own a gas station? No, that's impossible. It's like they'll fucking... <laughs> Like, it'll just become like a like a murder festival. Like that's not possible. Have you seen a black person own a a, a store a, that sells no, no. products? No, it's always Indians. Not you know that type of thing. Indians, Chinese. Yeah. Um, but well, keep in mind up up here in Canada, we don't have as many blacks. But I can't imagine it's any different in in the United States. Well, yeah, it's not. But but but. Here's, here's my thing. So that niche, it, it's, it needs to be filled, man. So it's like those people can't help but to, you know what I'm saying? Like they kind of like got to take that. It's it, it's like a lick. It's like drug dealers. Why do dudes sell drugs when they can get killed? Dudes can get killed selling drugs. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, no. There's a, a reason to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. There's a reason to do it. I, I get it. It took the life of 32-year-old Gopi Krishna Dasari, reportedly a husband and father. Reports say he'd been in this country only eight months from India. Early in the investigation was determined that a suspect entered a business, approached the counter, and shot the victim. 
Desari, the picture taken from an online fundraising site, died from his injuries. His murder, the second in as many days of a convenience store clerk working the night shift. The first, a murder robbery at the Family Stop Food Store Number 1, the 1700 block of Bruton Road in Mesquite, June 20th, just before midnight. Mohammed Hussein, 60 years old, who was a care... <laughs> like, think how much that job fucking sucks. Dealing with, like, belligerent sun man all night. That That's, that's just terrible. Carlton resident and store employee working night shift. In both incidents, the suspect fired multiple times soon as he entered the business, then took items from the stores. So he goes into the store, guns down the, the, the clerk, and then steals some stuff. That suspect, now in jail, charged with capital... Yo. Yeah, like this is what Michael Brown would have become if he lived a bit longer. Oh, shit, man. Yo, do you, this is the question I have, because um, I, like I've just been going over things for like the past couple of months. Look at the phenotypes of all of these people who are committing these crimes, right? And I want you to really, like really, really look at them. Do they look like they're possessed to you? I'm asking both of you guys. <laughs> like, honestly. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Do they look, they're possessed, they look possessed to you? They're possessed to you. Possessed yes. to yo, you. I'm try, yo, I'm trying to draw the correlation between this certain music, frequency. Like, seriously. I'm seriously trying to come to some sort of conclusion. But there's something going on. Yeah, I mean... They, they, I think it's DNA, but yeah. yeah, I think that I think what you're saying doesn't help. I think it exacerbates it. I'll give you that. The the frequencies exacerbate it, but this is DNA, man. Um, yeah, like yo, this guy's thrown his life in the. He's thrown his life in a wood chipper, and it, it's just okay. Like it, he'll just go to jail. Like he'll just be in prison for the rest of his life murder and more is 21 year old Devonte mathis who lives in the waco hillsborough area surveillance cameras gave mesquite police a good view of the car he was in that description put out to all patrol officers an alert officer spotted the car Devonte mathis was in about 12 55 or so saturday morning roughly 20 minutes after the murder robbery at that dallas store on lake june road an officer observed the vehicle got behind it attempted to stop it uh, vehicle pursuit ensued uh, which then led to a, a foot pursuit and a suspect was taken into custody. In Mesquite? Uh, in Dallas. Mathis connected to the Dallas murder by items in the vehicle he was driving. A woman saying she was his mother posted for prayers for her son on social media without sharing details behind her request. It's sad that someone would... His mom posted on social media for prayers, seeking, soliciting prayers for him. Yeah, these these sun women are like fucking retarded, man. Like, oh my gosh, it's just like, there's just it's nothing quite baby. like it. It's just, yeah, honestly, my baby, all that stuff. Like, it's just, just leaves you speechless. Wow. <laughs> In, the uh, in Dallas. Mathis connected to the Dallas murder by items in the vehicle he was driving. A woman saying she was his mother posted for prayers for her son on social media without sharing details behind her request. It's sad that someone would choose this path in life, uh, but unfortunately the only person that could have changed that was him. Devontae Mathis, 21 years old, now under a 7.5. 7.5 million dollar bond. Oh, 7.5 million. Okay. Great. Um wow. It's, it's really question. annoying how they're like they're afraid to keep these guys in without bond. It's really fucking annoying. Yeah, damn sure it is. Damn sure it is. Here's here's one more question. So you see a lot of the, the age groups, like mostly the age group. Look at 
take a look. Just just look at this when you guys get a chance. Look at the popular hip hop music that you know some of the artists and what they were talking about at the times. I would say give or take 20, 25 years ago. Like look at look at the artists, look at the message that was being delivered around those times. Like, you know, it it, it kinda it kind of syncs up with like you know it's like they were created during <laughs> this time period. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, you can you can try to 